branches and leaves to the heat. There we go. That's what we've got left. It was all on the on the um, driveway as well. So they these guys are eating it. The sheep are also eating it. They're taking into it. But it's just good to see them out here because obviously normally they wouldn't be coming out here. They'd be sat in their stable. Not wanting to come out. Freya is in heat at the moment. You see her flagging her tail, which is basically wagging it around, and she's doing lots of calling. Isn't she? Look, there you go. Classic. She'll probably start mounting Annie in a minute as well. Hi, Annie. Does she mount on you? Hey, Freya. So they're generally in heat for about 36 hours and then they calm down. She is very vocal when she's in heat. The rest of the time, she's really quiet. She doesn't make any noise at all, apart from when she's in heat, which is right now. So Annie is getting all the attention <laughs> from um, Freya. Um, I think also a little bramble might be in heat too because the boy is castrated, but um, he'll still start mounting her and doing other bits and pieces and stuff. So, but these guys are enjoying and a really horrible day. It's really dark and rainy and so very nice. But obviously it is January, right? It's just starting to properly rain, so I'm going to have to put the phone away. But I just thought I'd show you these guys out of the stable enjoying some browse having all sorts of trouble with me putting obviously the pond liner on the nesting boxes we've had storm brendan come in um last couple of days it's been horribly windy this is the first time the sun's been out all week uh, which is quite nice at the moment so i've just ordered, so I ordered some more hooks and some um bungee cords so i've put these on to hopefully stop it from flapping around it's flapping around so much i had to like tuck it into inside it and it's been all sorts of issues with it uh, same with the one next door so I've put this on so at the moment I've put it fairly loose but it, it, it's starting to get a bit windy and it's doing okay at the moment so we will see how it goes I can put a slightly smaller one on um, so the the um, yellow is the biggest one I've got which is like 75 centimeters um, and then I've tried it with the purple so the it's holding it nicely it's windy now and it's not moving but it's quite loose so I can put a tighter one on if you want to, um, but I'll see if that works to start with. I'm just gonna go and do the same thing over here on that nesting box. So I'll show you when that's done. Okay, so I've done this one too. So I've put little hooks on. The yellow was a bit tight to put all the way around. I don't wanna damage the lining on there. So again, I've done it quite loose, but if it needs a slightly smaller one, then I'll change that if we need to. But at the moment, it's keeping that down. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to put a hook in the ceiling over over on this part of the coop, and then I'm going to hang that feeder because they keep pooping in it, and it's just getting it on the floor is just annoying. So I'm going to hang that from up there, and hopefully they'll stop pooping in it, and it'll be a bit nicer and drier in here. Okay, so my first plan was putting it in the roof. The roof is actually really flimsy and it actually wouldn't take the um, hook. So I put the hook, you can see, in the very top of the wall and I've used one of the really small cable ties, or cable ties, sorry, bungee cords. If this doesn't work and it's kind of not really working very good, then I will swap it for a cable tie, which is why I got confused. But it means that it's not blocking the door for them to come in and out. They've got food and water in here. Um, so in case I'm late letting them out in the morning, I'm not worried that they're hungry or thirsty or anything like that. So I'm happy with that and let's see how it goes. So three little modifications done today. The goats have actually just come out. We had to leave them in this morning because I had to take mum to the dentist really early this morning. Um, and then we just came back, had a little bit of lunch and then let them all out. So they're out now. I can see Annie with her head in the sticking out of the stable, bless her. Um, and then all the babies are out. These little dudes are running around. Next door is out and about. Oh, they were. They've all just gone in, have they? You all just got in. They must have all just gone in. They were out here a minute ago and they got the sheepies out there. So I did oats and barley's hoofs the other night. So they're done, so I still need to do all the baby's hoofs and um, Annie's back ones and Heidi's ones. So my sister had to delay her trip until the weekend, so 
it's now Wednesday so she's going to be coming and hopefully going to be able to help me out um, if really if needs be then mum will have to do it but she likes she doesn't particularly like it so if I can get someone else to help me then that's better so these dudes are doing good first day it's not been raining so I'm gonna go and try and wash my car because it's an absolute state so I'll see you again soon bye so I made a little bit of a tree out of the um, the tree that we've still got some left so these guys are now out and hopefully gonna come and forage on this tree there's also branches down here there's a couple down here and a couple down here just to get them out and about because it's actually quite nice down at the moment so the, the floor is the um it's a bit muddy so they're not overly keen on coming out but i managed to coax them over so we've got mama freya and baby sorry i nearly was fell in the mud and then we've got heidi behind Annie is still over there in the stables, like she'd rather just not go in the mud, but, so. but it's better for them to be out here eating this stuff, so let's start and quickly show you. Come over, Annie. Oh, she's going to venture over. No, oh, we have Annie coming over. There we go. We have everybody out of the stable. Yay! actually ventured out on their own and come over here to one of the um, branch that I've put out and left them over there. It's quite impressive. Normally they kind of like don't go too far from her and then run back again. But obviously they are nearly, well they are nine months now. So. Oh growing up! Full grown! She keeps checking on them though. We have a quick look at Freya. She just keeps looking to see whether they're alright. But they're all good. 